In volume three, in my Licks and Tricks edition, I walk you through several licks that you can do, a lot of blues licks and scales and whatnot, uh, that are really cool. Um, and one of the things about them that makes them so genius as far as this application is concerned is because if we do what's called a trill, for example, and you get good at it, you have to get the trill in pitch, otherwise it just sounds bloody awful, right? So, if we start on a, on a note, we're going to go... Uh, uh, we'll start there now... Uh, smooth, it means that you can actually hear through not only the notes, but hit them accurately. Now, a little slower, speed it up if you can. where you can start to hear through the phrases, hear through the notes, and then incorporate this pitch into songs and into words. Now, remember I said it can be tricky because the, the vowels, the way they're shaped, can be different. So you might want to oh, You might want to do them in different vowel sounds to make sure you're not only good on one vowel so that the transition itself, you can feel it as you're going through it. So you can do this with the target notes as well. You go e, challenge yourself to actually match them with different vowel sounds as well, and this will help.